Hello, Metan Tribune. We're here at Bay Ridge Manor at Ari Kagan's re-election party. We're waiting for the results. Um, as you know, sometimes these, uh, these elections go into, uh, into recounts. Uh, there is ranked choice uh, here in the city of New York. And I uh, want to let you know that in this particular case, ranked choice will not be an option because Ari Kagan has won his greatest election victory. My friends, we just received news from Board of Elections. With 70% of votes counted, we have more than 73%. Absolutely, easily, honestly, and simply can declare that we won the Republican nomination. <laughs> the margin is so big, we're not going to wait for anything else. <laughs> and I would like to say that people have spoken. in the 47th district of South of Brooklyn for trusting me to represent the Republican Party in November of this year to defeat the local Democratic Councilman Justin Brennan. I am immensely grateful to communities of South of Brooklyn, including Democrats, Independents, and everyone else who cheered me at subway stations, at parks, near senior centers, on a sidewalk, in diners, in restaurants, in cafe, and in personal conversations. It looks like Southern Brooklyn is ready for a change. We need to move from policies that made our lives in Southern Brooklyn and citywide Let's save. We need to do everything possible to support our amazing NYPD. <laughs> to make sure that our taxes are not growing every day, but to fight every idea of the any tax increase at any moment. And you know, our democratic majority in city council is very ready to increase our taxes not every day, but twice a day. I would like to thank some people without whom I would never be in this position today. Because, as you know, there were a lot of people who were skeptical. But this campaign is victorious because of the strength of the Republican Party. And I would like to thank one person in particular who is so popular in our district that no matter where I mention his name, no matter where in South and Brooklyn I say Mary Colton, it's like a magical war. Right away, people open their doors and say, you are in conference. Senator Mary Colton, I say yes. You don't need to go further. We are with you, Councilman. So I'm very, very grateful to our amazing, amazing, legendary Senator Mary Colton. Thank you so very much. I also would like to say, Congresswoman Nicole Maliatakis. Yeah. She is fighting for us in Washington, D.C. to make sure 
that our borders are open only for legal immigrants, only for organized immigration. You love immigrants. I'm an immigrant myself. I'm a refugee myself. I went through extensive background checks and health checks and interviews before I came to America with a refugee status. So I know something about getting political asylum. Not what's going on right now. Anything goes, no questions asked. So Nicole Malatakis is fighting for us in Washington, D.C. and in Brooklyn and in Staten Island to make sure that our country and our city is safer, that our taxes are going down, not up, and that our schools are offering education to children, not brainwashing and some kind of uh, theories that nobody ever understands and nobody will ever understand. So thank you so much, Nicole Maratakis, for your endorsement. She couldn't make it, but I know there are people from her office here. Thank you so much. Lord Vincent, thank you. Also, I would like to ask former mayoral candidate, Curtis Liva, who is partner with Republicans, Democrats, Independents, and no affiliation, and no non citizens, legal immigrants, and everyone else who wants to see our city being safe so we can ride on the subway without being afraid to be killed, to be injured, to be attacked. And there's a person who rides subway and buses every single day. In this race, I'm the only one who doesn't have a car. I'm the only one who rides buses and subways every single day. So don't make these fictitious pictures like Justin Brennan just did two days ago inside the subway. He doesn't know anything about subway. And I use subway system every day for 30 years. So I know every station, every train, every line. And that's why when MTA announced that there will be no F train service for South and Brooklyn on weekends, for many, many months, I called Office of Assemblyman Alec Brookrasner and Office of State Senator Jessica Scarcellas Pantin, and I said we need to write joint letter to MTA saying, what are you doing? Why are you destroying South and Brooklyn? And guess what? It worked. And now we have a free shuttle bus to communities of South and Brooklyn. And I, I write on this shuttle bus. I also would like to thank my absolutely amazing campaign team. It's not easy to work with me because I work 24 seven, but my campaign team and my office team, by the way, work even more. So I would like to thank amazing campaign manager. She took a lot of heat, but we are hustling together. Jennifer Moore. And judging by results, she was the last year field manager for Nicole Maliatakis. And Nicole Maliatakis won Southern Brooklyn. I like this results. We are going to win Southern Brooklyn all over again. I would like to thank also John Siravalli, who was a volunteer for my campaign. He jumped into our team when he watched my interview to Fox News. But I explain why I did I switch from Democrat to Republican Party. He said, I don't need anything from you, Ari. I just want you to defeat Justin Brennan in November. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much. I also would like to thank several community leaders who did not hesitate. As you know, I'm a former Democrat. I'm a former Democrat as Ronald Reagan, as Murray Golden, as Ray Tinaro, as Liam McCabe, and many others. We cannot win this race without Democrats. If it's news for you, we need to bring everyone together to win this race. So I would like to, uh, to thank Ray Tinaro. Thank you so much. Door to door. Liam McKay, thank you so much, Liam. I received endorsement from John Caglione, who came so close to beat Justin Brennan, but we will finish the job. I would like to thank Brian Fox, 
who agreed to support my endorsement on the first meeting when the Merkel said, Ari, I'm with you from day one. Thank you so much, Brian. Yeah. And of course, I would like to thank our amazing office staff. Everywhere I go, we need to keep you in the office because otherwise we will lose your amazing Janine Kirikets, Ayana Vigilas, I'm blessed to have absolutely incredible stuff. We have thousands and thousands of people in the last 18 months resolving so many issues every day. I also would like to thank my tireless, tireless campaign treasurer, Guran Zakhadze. Thank you, Guran. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your work. Thank you. Of course, I would not be anywhere in my life without my absolutely wonderful family. And my wife, as usual, she's on the way. <laughs> she likes to come a little bit late to surprise everybody. My wife, Bella, my son, Yakov, my daughter, Victoria, is already here. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. When my daughter was born, the daughter, Victoria, it was a very big victory for all of us. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. For, my, for your support. Thank you so very much. Thank you. I love you too. So my family supported me from day one, and I'm very, very grateful to my absolutely wonderful family. And as a parent, I can tell you, it's so important that I know how to raise children. It looks like some of my democratic colleagues know better. They believe that they know how to raise children, and they know what should be taught in schools, and what kind of schools should be chosen for children. That's why I'm always talking about parental choice, merit-based education. I was involved by this organization that gives power to parents. I strongly believe that parents should choose the best school, best education for their children, and children should have the ability to learn much more even if they want, my son went to gifted and talented program, Brooklyn Tech High School. So we need to open opportunities for everybody, not to close them, but to open. We need to give gifted and talented program in every public school in New York. Right. We need more specialized schools, not to create barriers. We need more specialized schools in New York City. And of course, we need to lower taxes. It's insane. Every time I'm coming to state council meeting, what is the new tax they're going to invent? What other small business they're planning to close? Now they're going after pizza businesses. They don't like our amazing pizzerias. They wanted to close hundreds of them. They're saying they're very bad for the environment. Forget about China, what China is doing to our environment. Forget about they're using huge SUVs. People who are trying to close our pizzerias, driving on SUV cars and using private airplanes, you know, and I'm standing with our small businesses. They know better whether to put napkins inside of the order or not. And my democratic opponent voted to harm small businesses in Brooklyn, including in Bay Ridge and in Coney Island. He wants more taxes, more micromanagement, and less business, small businesses to be in New York City. He wants them all to move to other states. Otherwise, I cannot explain his socialist ideas, how to squeeze everyone who pays taxes. So, I do not want to say any longer, I'm already making a long speech. I would like to acknowledge my amazing colleagues, Assembly Manali Prokrasny, we share with him about 80% of our GDP. Thank you so much, Ali. And Assemblyman Michael Lalakov. By the way, we both journalists by my trade, so that's also very important. Like journalistic uh, fraternity, I would say. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. And I would like to thank every community leader, every activist, all young folks who spent 25 last 25 hours going to every poll site and every park and every sidewalk in South of Brooklyn. This campaign is just beginning. We are just beginning the campaign. It's not over. It's just a new beginning. On November 7th, it's going to be victory for South of Brooklyn, for all amazing communities. CK, Coney Island, Warpers, D. 